When we want to share data inside a Next.js 13 application, most of the time we are using props. However, we can create what we call a context that is going to centralize the state of the data for the whole application and share this data to all pages and components. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a context, a very simple one inside your Next.js application. So the first thing we need to do is to go inside our applications at the source folder here, and I'm going to create a new folder. And inside this new folder context, I'm going to create a new file that is going to be an index.tsx, because here I'm on TypeScript. This is where we are going to store our context with the wrapper that we are going to pass here to the layout. And we are going to wrap our whole application with it. So we're going to do that in three steps. The first step is going to, it's going to be to create the context, then to create the wrapper, and then to use a function to actually deliver the context to the whole application. So I'm going to import create context here from React. Then I'm going to create my context. App context is equal to create context simply. And there we go. We've got a context that is created. We need to export a function that is going to be the wrapper. So here I'm going to call it app wrapper. And here we're going to pass the children. And remember, the children are coming from here. So probably what we can do is just to copy paste this type of children. And there we go. This function app wrapper is going to receive the children here. So we're going to come back here to use this function and to wrap the whole application. Here, I'm going just to write a simple example. I'm going to have a state and a set state, for instance. And I'm going to use my state from React. And this state is going to be hello, for instance. Now I got this set state variable with this use state function that makes it reactive. I want to pass it through my children, through my component tree. So what I need to do is to return down there my app context in here. We created this context and we want to pass this state as a value. So I'm going to type app context in here and I'm going just to pass like this inside my app context, my children. All right, but here what I need to specify, I need to specify that it's not simply the context up here, create context here, and app context, especially here, down there as a component, need to be passed as a provider. So here I type provider. And provider is waiting for what? It's waiting for a value. And you understood that the value is actually my state up there. So there we go. We've got our context provider with our state down there. Our function is ready to be used. So. We are going to continue in this very simple um, example. Down there, I need to have a function that I'm going to call everywhere I need the context. Because here, it's not the only step. We can't pass just this value and it's going to work. I need to have a function for that. So I'm going to export function, and this is the last step. Use app context, for instance. And inside here, I'm going to return what? I'm going just first to import my use context function that is going to receive, you understood, the context created here. So I can type use context and then I can pass my app context. And then we are ready. So up here, we see that we've got an error, expected one argument, but got zero. An argument for default value was not provided. So here we've got an example. We see that the default value, and here I'm passing the state. So here I got a string. The default value that I would have here, for instance, would be hello. However, I think you're likely to use more like an object with a full state inside of it in this example. So what we would have is an object with hello, and here we're going to have hello world. So suddenly, the value got a problem. We say that it's not assignable to the type string because we didn't specify any type here. As a TypeScript file, we would need to pass a type. 
to the state and how the state is going to look like. Here, at first, I'm just going to do this. Of course, if you want to pass a, a type context, what you would do is to pass your type here, context, and to define your context and say here it's a context type, etc., etc. Okay, so we're going to see that probably later in the TypeScript lessons. But here, there we go. We've got our context that, is, that has been passed. The last step is now to wrap our whole application with this context. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back here and I'm going to import from where here. And I can say from my context, I'm going to import my app wrapper. And then I want to pass actually my uh, app wrapper down there and I can put instead of my div, I'm going to put my children and I'm going to remove this. And there we go. The context that we created in here has been distributed to all the children of the application. But if you really follow all my courses, you should understand that here there's a problem. The problem is that we are using user state in a server component, which is not possible. So what I need to do is to turn this context as a use client here on the top and we should be good. Now let's test if this context is going to work. I'm on my page home and I'm going to actually turn it into a client component. So here I got my use client and what I'm going to do, I'm going to call the context. So if I get back here in my context, remember we got this use app context that I can call everywhere because now I'm injecting the context. So I'm going to go down in here and I'm going just to type here use app context and we've got it in here. I'm going to type enter and we see that we import the use app context from the context folder we created. What I can do immediately is to deconstruct my use app context function that I'm calling. And here, remember, we've got what? We've got this hello that is going to give me the, the word world. So here I'm going to use hello and I can go down and I can see if hello is going to be triggered. Here, it's really simple to understand. We call our use app function from the context and then we got hello. And when I come back, I got world that is just here. Okay, let's come back to our context. Let's remove the type and just put for this example, any type with undefined. And let's just remove this state and let's put instead a name and a set name. And inside this set name, I'm just going to put Guillaume, for instance. And I would like to pass also the function set name because probably I would like to change Guillaume. So what I can do here is just to put an object with name and set name. Does it work like this? Let's find out. So we just pass the value here to change the user state. So I'm going to come back here inside my use app context and I don't have hello now. I got name. When I come back, it's fine. I got my name. But what I'm, on, I'm going to use, I'm going to use set name also. And let's just put that into a span. And next to it, I want to create a button. And in this button, actually, which will be called change name. So I'm going to put some a space between them to get some clearness. There we go. I want to say that every time that I click on change name, I want to set another name. So remember, we got actually up there our function set name, and we want to put as a name Kevin, for instance. So I'm going to save that, and we're going to look if it works. So if I go here and I click on change name, we've got Kevin in here that appears. So we see that we can export actually our set name, our function also, and we can use it in real time and change the context directly from my page here with the function set name. In this quick lesson, I showed you how to create a context. It's basically in three steps. We create our context, then we create a wrapper, then we create a function to use the context. In our layout, we wrap our children with this context. And inside your page, you call your function use app context in here that is coming actually from the context to get all the state of your context 
as well as the function to change or mutate your state.